There are currently 2,570 people in American prisons who were sentenced to life imprisonment without parole for crimes they committed as a juvenile. Antonio Nunez is one of them. Antonio grew up in a violence-ridden neighborhood in South Central Los Angeles. Soon after turning 13, he was shot multiple times by a stranger. The bullet wounds would leave him hospitalized for weeks. His 14-year-old brother, Jose, ran to his aid, but was shot in the head and killed instantly. The event traumatized Antonio, and he would later experience flashbacks of his brother's murder. About a year later, Antonio was convinced by a 32-year-old man named Juan Perez to participate in a fake kidnapping. They were driving over to pick up the money when an unidentified vehicle started pursuing them. The drivers chasing them were undercover police officers, but neither Antonio nor Juan knew that. Antonio was given a gun and told to shoot at the car. Both were arrested and tried in a joint trial. At the trial, both Antonio and Juan were found guilty and sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. California law says that a murderer under the age of 16 cannot be sentenced to life imprisonment. Only, Antonio was being tried for kidnapping, not murder. And because of mandatory sentencing laws, he was tried as an adult. Mandatory sentencing laws make it so that if a crime is severe enough, then the judge is required by the state to give a specific sentence without considering the background of the accused or their life circumstances. In Antonio's case, this meant life in prison without parole. How can we make sure that cases like Antonio's don't keep happening? It starts by getting informed. You can learn more on Twitter at Parole for Kids and on Instagram at Help Antonio.